A couple months ago, he gave me a word that points to the 678 chapter of the King James Version Bible. Um, my wife and I will fulfill all scripture within Song of Solomon. In simple gematria, if you substitute letters for numbers like A1, M13, Z26, this gives you the simple gematria of 678. And if you consider that Genesis 1 is the first chapter and Malachi 4 is the 929th chapter, this places Song of Solomon chapter 7 as the 678th chapter of the King James Version Bible. It talks about the bride's shoes, okay? Now, the 677th chapter would obviously apply to the bride because she is blameless, okay? She is a hidden bride, and I'm going to explain why. He showed me um, early this morning, he showed me um, why it is a proven fact that Genesis 24, along with um, Song of Solomon chapter 8, Okay, it proves beyond a shadow of a doubt uh, the accuracy of the word he gave me early this morning um, that she is, in fact, hidden. Okay, um, my wife has been told to remain hidden until I unveil her when I return. Okay, in simple gematria, uh, this totals 679. Okay, the 679th chapter of the KJV Bible is Song of Solomon chapter 8, okay? Now, um, 677 means blameless. The bride mentioned in Matthew 25 and verse 1, according to Matthew's original Aramaic scriptures, um, she is the dove who is but one, okay? Uh, mentioned in chapter 6 um, in verse 9, you know, and Solomon made clear uh, starting in verse 8, there are three score queens and four score concubines and virgins without number. My dove, my undefiled, is but one. She's the only one of her mother. She is the choice one of her that bear her. The daughters saw her and blessed her, yea, the queens and the concubines, and they praised her. Okay? Who is she that looketh forth as the morning, fair as the moon, clear as the sun, and terrible as an army with banners? Okay? That will be her complexion after the rapture. Okay, her light will shine in the holy city, the New Jerusalem, outlined in Revelation 21, um, in verse 9 and in verse 11. Okay, and so um, Revelation 21, he wants me to elaborate on this. Um, you can read about the holy city, the New Jerusalem, that will be hovering over the earth during the millennial reign for 1,000 years. If you compare these scriptures to 1 John 5, 6, and 7, you would know that Elohim is three in one. You have the Father, you have the Word made flesh, Yeshua HaMashiach, and you have the Ruach HaKadosh. And these three are one, according to 1 John 5, 6, and 7. The Ruach HaKadosh who guides true believers into all truth and shows them things to come as proven in John 16, 13. Okay, he is referred to as a he and a himself seven times in John 16, 13 alone. In the same chapter, in the King James Version Bible, an actual woman in labor is referred to as a she and a her. This fully correlates with 2 Timothy chapter 3, where Paul makes clear that all scripture is subject for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Okay, and it fully correlates with what Solomon wrote in Proverbs 35 and 6, that every word of Elohim is pure. Okay, and so... How do I say this? Um, um, if you compare Revelation 21 um, to Proverbs 9, okay, in light of the scriptures I just read, okay, uh, John 16, 13, John 16, 21, if you read, if, if you read Proverbs 8 and if you read Proverbs 9, Proverbs 9 talks about the holy city, the New Jerusalem. Wisdom all by herself did not build the holy city, the New Jerusalem, okay? She didn't carve out pillars, okay? 
Um, she didn't work in a slaughterhouse um, killing animals, you know, to prepare a steak dinner for the Marriage Supper of the Lamb celebration, um, an event that um, is outlined in Revelation 19, okay? This means that because of the way Proverbs 9 is written, that wisdom is personified in the 31 chapters of Proverbs. You know, she was not there as a fourth member of Elohim, um, you know, according to Proverbs 8. This is wisdom personified because of the way Proverbs 9 is written, Okay, no woman works in a slaughterhouse, none that I know of. Okay, and no woman carves out pillars of stone, uh, you know, and builds part of the holy city, the New Jerusalem, all by herself. You know, Adonai Elohim, the Father, the Son, and the Ruach Hakadesh, the Spirit of Truth, the three that are in one, built the holy city, the New Jerusalem. Okay, obviously, there's no fourth member of Elohim. Okay, and so. He wants me to go through and rehash this. My wife and I will fulfill all scriptures within Song of Solomon. This points to the 678th chapter of the KJV Bible, um, Song of Solomon chapter 7. Early this morning, he gave me, my wife has been told to remain hidden until I unveil her when I return. In simple gematria, this totals 679, okay? Um, the 679th chapter would be Song of Solomon chapter 8, okay? And um, um, so he wants me to show people um, that, you know, look, time is short and um, he instructed me to calculate the number of inclusive chapters from Genesis 24 to Song of Solomon 8, okay? Um, so bear with me one second. In light of the word that he gave me about how his wife has been instructed to remain hidden, she is never going to come out in public um, go online on the internet and proclaim to be his wife, okay? In light of the fact that he gave me this word, in simple Demetria, it totals 679, and the 679th chapter of the KJV Bible would be Song of Solomon chapter 8. Um, and so it points directly to Genesis 24. So I'm going to read from verse 61 through 67 and prove with scripture that the bride has been instructed to remain hidden, okay? And Rebecca arose and her damsels, and they rode upon camels and followed the man and the servant who is Eliezer took Rebecca and went his way. And Isaac came from the way of the well Lahai Roy, for he dwelt in the south country. And Isaac went out to meditate in the field at the eventide. And he lifted up his eyes and saw, and behold, the camels were coming. And Rebekah lifted up her eyes, and when she saw Isaac, she lighted off the camel. For she had said unto the servant, uh, What man is this that walketh in the field to meet us? And the servant, who is Eliezer, had said, It is my master. Therefore, she took a veil and covered herself. Okay? That represents that the bride, she is hidden until she is unveiled. Okay? Um, when Yeshua HaMashiach cries out to her, Rise up, my love, my fair one, and come away. Song of Solomon 2.10. That's when the bride is removed off the planet, according to Revelation 18.23. Then he will propose to her in the night sky, and she will be unveiled. Okay, um, minutes later, after she accepts his proposal, the spirit and the bride will say, come to the five wise virgins of today's society. You know, it's clear in Matthew 25, one original Aramaic version, the five wise virgins do go out to meet the groom and the one woman bride. Okay, so all the way up until the apocalypse, apocalypse means unveiling. Okay, she it has been instructed to remain hidden. Okay, she's never going to go out in public, send letters to several zip coded areas like some pastor's wives have done um, in this tri state area, which is absolutely insane. Okay, um, she's not going to come on the internet of all places and proclaim to be his wife. Okay, no. She's been instructed to remain hidden and to never come out and expressly say who she is. Okay, 
Um, and Rebecca lifted up her eyes. So when she saw Isaac, she lighted off the camel for she had said unto the servant, what man is this that walketh in the field to meet us? And the servant had said, it is my master. Therefore she took a veil and covered herself. And the servant told Isaac all things that he had done. And Isaac brought her into his mother Sarah's tent and took Rebekah, and she became his wife, and he loved her, and Isaac was comforted after his mother's death. Okay? This proves, you know, in light of the fact that Abishag, who married Solomon, she wore a veil in Song of Solomon chapter 4. Okay? Um, these two veils are symbolic of the real bride knowing to remain hidden and veiled. Now, um, from Genesis 24 to Song of Solomon chapter 8, I'm going to show you and prove to you that the bride is, in fact, hidden. She has been instructed to remain hidden. Um, there are 656 inclusive chapters from Genesis 24 to Song of Solomon chapter 8, okay? The 656th chapter of the King James Version Bible, Proverbs 28, okay? The wicked false teachers fear when the righteous true prophets expose their false doctrines and, and their false teachings, okay? Um, to make sense of what Solomon is talking about in Proverbs 28.1. And I'm going to read the entire 28th chapter of Proverbs, the 656th chapter of the King James Version Bible, knowing that from Genesis 24 to Song of Solomon 8, 656 inclusive chapters. Okay. The wicked flee when no man pursueth, but the righteous are bold as a lion. They're very bold in exposing the false doctrines. You know, um, if you translate this, it means the wicked are afraid when the righteous expose their lies, okay? The wicked false teachers, they are in fear um, when the righteous true prophets expose their false doctrines and false teachings. Yes, that's how you make sense of this verse. The wicked flee when no man pursueth, but the righteous are bold as a lion. For the transgression of a land, uh, many are the princes thereof, but by a man... Of understanding and knowledge, the state thereof shall be prolonged. A poor man that oppresseth the poor is like a sweeping rain which leaveth no food. They that forsake the law praise the wicked, but such as keep the law contend with them. Evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek the Lord understand all things. Those who diligently seek the Lord, okay? Better is the poor that walketh in his uprightness than he that is perverse in his ways, though he be rich. Whoso keepeth the law is a wise son, but he that is a companion of riotous men shameth his father. He that by usury and unjust gain increaseth his substance, he shall gather it for him, he shall gather it for him that will pity the poor. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abomination. Okay. Whoso causeth the righteous to go astray in an evil way, he shall fall himself into his own pit. Okay. But the upright shall have good things in possession. The rich man is wise in his own conceit, but the poor that hath understanding searcheth him out. When righteous men do rejoice, there is great glory. But when the wicked rise, a man is hidden. He that covereth his sins shall not prosper. But whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. Happy is the man that feareth always. But he that hardens his heart shall fall into mischief. Okay? As a roaring lion and a raging bear... Um, so is a wicked ruler over the poor people. The prince that wanteth understanding is also a great oppressor, but he that hateth covetousness um, shall prolong his days. A man that doeth violence to the blood of any person shall flee to the pit. Let no man, let no man stay him. Whoso walketh uprightly shall be saved. But he that is perverse in his ways shall fall at once. OK, 
okay? Um, he that tilleth his land shall have plenty of bread, but he that followeth after vain persons shall have poverty enough, okay? A faithful man shall abound with blessings, but he that maketh haste to be rich shall not be innocent. To have respect of persons is not good. Um, for, for a piece of bread, that man will transgress. He that hasteth to be rich hath an evil eye, and considereth not that poverty shall come upon him. He that rebuketh a man afterwards shall find more favor than he that flattereth with his tongue. Whoso robbeth his father or his mother, and saith, It is no transgression, the same is the companion of a destroyer. He that is of a proud heart uh, stirreth up strife, but he that putteth his trust in the Lord shall be made fat. Okay? Um, pride comes before fall. It's very, very clear. Okay? And... All the false teachers and false prophets of Matthew 24, 24, 24, um, the false teachers, the false prophets, you know, they are prideful. They do not want to rightly divide the word of truth, okay? They, they don't care that they don't even care, okay? Pride does come before a fall. He that is of a proud heart stirreth up strife, false doctrines, false teachings, you know, etc., okay? But he that putteth his trust in the Lord shall be made fat. He that trusteth in his own heart is a fool, but whoso walketh wisely, he shall be delivered. He that giveth unto the poor shall not lack, but he that hideth his eyes shall have many a curse. When the wicked rise, men hide themselves, but when they perish, the righteous increase. Okay? And so... The fact remains is this, the 656th chapter of the KJV Bible, Proverbs 28, the wicked flee. They are afraid, um, you know, when the righteous are bold as lions, you know, and they expose their false doctrines, okay? Um, and so, you know, the fact remains is this, uh, from Genesis 24 to Song of Solomon 8, 656 inclusive chapters in the KJV Bible. Rebecca is, in fact, a foreshadow of the veiled, hidden bride, the Lamb's wife, okay? And the fact that um, in simple Demetria, the word he gave me this morning, my wife has been told to remain hidden until I unveil her when I return. In simple Demetria, 679, okay? And so we know that um, the 679th chapter of the KJV Bible is Song of Solomon 8, okay? And I'm going to read from chapter 6 all the way to the end of chapter 8. Um, Whither is thy beloved gone, O thou fairest among women? Whither is thy beloved turned aside, that we may seek him with thee? Okay? My beloved is gone down into his garden, to the beds of spices to feed in the gardens and to gather lilies. I am my beloved's, and my beloved is mine. He feedeth among the lilies, okay? Thou art beautiful, O my love, as Terzah, comely as Jerusalem, terrible as an army with banners. Turn away thine eyes from me, for they have overcome me. Thy hair is as a flock of goats that appear from Gilead. Thy teeth are as a flock of sheep which go up from the washing, whereof every one beareth twins, and there is not one barren among them. As a piece of a pomegranate, are thy temples within thy locks. There are threescore queens and fourscore concubines and virgins without number. My dove, my undefiled, is but one, one woman. She is the only daughter of her mother. She is the choice one of her that bear her. The daughters saw her and blessed her, yea, the queens and the concubines, and they praised her. Who is she that looketh forth as the morning, fares the moon, clears the sun, and terrible as an army with banners? I went down into the garden of nuts to see the fruits of the valley and to see whether the vine flourished and the pomegranate budded. Or ever I was aware, my soul made me like the chariots of Amenadib. Return, return, O Shulamite, return, return, that we may look upon thee. What will ye see in the Shulamite? As it were the company of two armies. Okay? And so chapter 7 is the 678th chapter, 
you know, and he gave me a word, this word a couple months ago, my wife and I will fulfill all scriptures within Song of Solomon. You know, the fact that this in simple Demetria 678 is no coincidence knowing that this chapter fully correlates with Psalm 45. Uh, which is what I will read um, after I read chapter 7 and chapter 8. Um, because when the bride, um, when she wears her wedding dress woven in the gold of Ophir, okay, uh, fulfilling Psalm 45 verse 9 and verse 13, she will wear um, these shoes prophesied about in Song of Solomon chapter 7. How beautiful are thy feet with shoes, O prince's daughter! The joints of thy thighs are like jewels, the work of the hands of a cunning workman. Um, thy navel is like a round goblet, which wanteth not liquor. Thy belly is like an heap of wheat set about with lilies. Thy two breasts are like two young rows that are twins. Um, thy neck is as a tower of ivory. Thine eyes, like the fishbowls of Hezbon, by the gate of bath -Rabim. Thy nose is as the tower of Lebanon, which looketh toward Damascus. Thine head upon thee is like Carmel, and the hair of thine head like purple. The king is held in the galleries. How fair and how pleasant art thou, O love for delights! This thy stature is like to a palm tree, and thy breasts two clusters of grapes. I said, I will go up to the palm tree. I will take hold of the bows thereof. Now also thy breast shall be as clusters of the vine and the smell of thy nose like apples and the roof of thy mouth like the best wine for my beloved that goeth down sweetly, causing the lips of those that are asleep to speak. Okay, I am my beloved's, and his desire is toward me. Come, my beloved, let us go forth into the field. Let us lodge in the villages. Let us get up early to the vineyards. Let us see if the vine flourish, whether the tender grape appear and the pomegranate bud forth. There will I give thee my loves." The mandrakes give a smell, and at our gates are all manner of pleasant fruits, new and old, which I have laid up for thee, O my beloved. And so um, the 679th chapter, you know, would be the next chapter, chapter 8. Um, oh, that thou wert as my brother, that suck the breast of my mother. When I should find thee without, I would kiss thee, yea, I should not be despised. I would lead thee and bring thee into my mother's house. Who would instruct me? I would cause thee to drink of spiced wine of the juice of my pomegranate. His left hand should be under my head and his right hand should embrace me. I charge you, O daughters of Jerusalem, that ye stir not up nor awake my love until he please. Who is this that cometh up from the wilderness, leaning upon her beloved? I raise thee up under the apple tree. There thy mother brought thee forth, there she brought thee forth that bare thee. Set me as a seal upon thine heart, as a seal upon thine arm, for love is strong as death, jealousy is cruel as the grave. The coals thereof are coals of fire, which hath a most vehement flame. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can the floods drown it. If a man would give all the substance of his house for love, it would utterly be condemned." We have a little sister, and she hath no breasts. What shall we do for our sister in the day when she shall be spoken for? If she be a wall, we will build upon her a palace of silver. And if she be a door, we will enclose her with boards of cedar. I am a wall, and my breasts like towers. Then was I in his eyes as one that found favor. Solomon had a vineyard at Baal Haman. He let out the vineyard to keep unto keepers. Every one for the fruit thereof was to bring a thousand pieces of silver. My vineyard, which is mine, is before me. Thou, O Solomon, must have a thousand, and those that keep the fruit thereof two hundred. Thou that dwellest in the gardens, the companions, hearken to thy voice. Cause me to hear it. Make haste, my beloved, and be thou like to a row or to a young heart upon the mountains of spices. Okay. And so she really has been instructed to remain hidden until she is unveiled. Okay. And so next I'm going to read Psalm 45. 
Psalm 45, King James Version, uh, written by the sons of Korah, a song of loves. My heart is indicting a good matter. I speak of the things which I have made touching the king. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. Thou art fairer than the children of men. Grace is poured into thy lips. Therefore God hath blessed thee forever. Gird thy sword upon thy thigh, O most mighty, with thy glory and thy majesty. And in thy majesty ride prosperously because of truth and meekness and righteousness. And thy right hand shall teach thee terrible things. Thine arrows are sharp in the heart of the king's enemies, whereby the people fall under thee. Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. The scepter of thy kingdom is a right scepter. Thou lovest righteousness and hatest wickedness. Therefore, God, thy God, hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows." All thy garments smell of myrrh and aloes and cassia out of the ivory palaces whereby they have made thee glad. King's daughters were among thy honorable women. Upon thy right hand did stand the queen and gold of Ophir. Hearken, O daughter, and consider and incline thine ear. Forget also thine own people and thy father's house. So shall the king greatly desire thy beauty, for he is thy lord, and worship thou him." And the daughter of Tyre shall be there with a gift. Even the rich among the people shall entreat thy favor. The king's daughter is all glorious within. Her clothing is of wrought gold. She shall be brought unto the king in raiment of needlework. The virgins, her companions that follow her, shall be brought unto thee. This will be when, you know, she wears her wedding dress mentioned in verse 13 and the Song of Solomon chapter 7 shoes, okay? Um... The king's daughter is all glorious within. Her clothing is of wrought gold. She shall be brought unto the king in raiment of needlework. The virgins, her companions, the wise virgins of Matthew 25, 1, who do go out to meet the groom and the bride, okay, um, that follow her shall be brought unto thee. With gladness and rejoicing shall they be brought. They shall enter into the king's palace. Instead of thy fathers shall be thy children, whom thou mayest me. Make princes in all the earth. I will make thy name to be remembered in all generations. Therefore shall the people praise thee forever and ever. Okay. And so the fact remains is this. Um, you know, I, I received a word um, early this morning. My wife has been told to remain hidden until I unveil her when I return. The fact that this in simple Demetria is 679 is no ordinary coincidence when it points to the 679th chapter of the KJV Bible, Song of Solomon chapter 8, okay? You know, we know that, um, we know that Song of Solomon, the eight chapters of Song of Solomon, okay, 117 verses, okay? Um, there are 117 chapters in Genesis, Exodus, and in Leviticus, and then there are 117 chapters in Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, and Acts of the Apostles, all within the KJV Bible. If you count the five books, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, and Acts, and then the three books of Genesis, Exodus, and Leviticus, these are eight books total, okay? There are eight chapters of Song of Solomon with 117 verses, okay? Um, the middle chapter of the KJV Bible would be um, Psalm 117 that represents the year 2017, okay? That would have been Jewish year 5777, okay? Um, in 2017, um, in August of 2017, there was a great American solar eclipse that crossed America out. Um, there will be another one in April of 2024, okay? Um you know, Psalm 117 is the middle chapter of the KJV Bible, the 595th chapter. Noah was 595 when Lamech died at 777 years of age, okay? And then five years later, Noah entered the ark at the age of 600, okay, as proven um uh, in in the record in, in the book of Genesis, okay? You know, um, Noah, um, Noah was told by Father Yahweh that he has five years left to prepare the ark, okay? 
um, when he gave him the sign that Lamech died at 777 years of age. We know that the bride, she knows to remain hidden. She is perfect, okay? She is represented by a triple seven in Revelation 21, 9. Um, and the five wise virgins who do go out to meet the groom and the bride, according to Matthew 25, 1, original Aramaic version, the five wise virgins really are the meek of Matthew 5, 5. From Matthew 5, 5 to Matthew 25, 7 in the KJV Bible, 777 inclusive verses, okay? Um, this is not a coincidence. So lastly, I'm going to read the original parable of the 10 virgins. You know, she really does know to remain hidden until Yeshua HaMashiach unveils her. Apocalypse means unveiling. You know, I, I'm getting a lot of women coming on my channel claiming to be wisdom. Um, yes, we are to walk with wisdom towards those that are without redeeming the time. That's Colossians 4, 5. Okay, um, we are supposed to be guided into all truth and shown things to come in line with John 16, 13, to be accounted worthy to be part um, of the Church of Philadelphia, Revelation 3, 10, okay, um, in line with Luke 21, 36, okay, and, but the fact remains is this, Scripture proves that Every word of Elohim is pure, according to Proverbs 30, verse 5 and 6. The royal Kakadesh who guides true believers into all truth and shows them things to come. He is mentioned as a he and a himself seven times in John 16, 13 alone. In the same chapter, an actual woman in labor is referred to as a she and a her four times. Okay? Wisdom is personified in Proverbs 9. Okay? Um, she didn't work in a slaughterhouse and kill animals to prepare a steak dinner for the marriage supper of the lamb. No, um, she didn't build the holy city, the new Jerusalem all by herself, you know, or carve out pillars. This proves that wisdom in Proverbs 8 is personified. Okay. Um, no, Elohim is three in one, you know, according to one John five, six and seven, not four in one. Okay, and so I am kindly requesting for the women who are audibly claiming to be this woman, okay, she has been instructed to remain hidden. This is the word he gave me today, okay? If you are someone proclaiming to be his wife online, in public, okay, you need to repent, ask for forgiveness, um, take your content down, you are lying to people. Okay, he is furious. Okay, um, and so you know th this is a response to Tila Tequila Tila Win, who came on my channel and um, told me that she is uh, Jesus Christ's wife. Okay, and that she was with him, you know, in the beginning when they built the earth. No, this is not an accurate biblical interpretation. No, you you are following after Queen of Heaven idolatry. Um, doctrines, God the mother doctrines, okay? And this is not biblical, okay? This, the bride of Revelation 18, 23, who is with her bridegroom, okay, is the same bride of Jeremiah 7, 34, okay? She is repenting of willful sin, okay? She came out of Thyatira. She stopped being a partaker of her sins, and she stopped receiving of her plagues, according to Revelation 18, 4 and 5. This points to queen of heaven idolatry that provokes Elohim to anger, okay? Um, outlined in, in Jeremiah 7, 16 through 20. She will worship her Lord, according to Psalm 45, 11. You know, she's not going to demand to be worshipped, No. Okay, and so really, you're running out of time. I'm trying to plant a seed. You know, you live in the United States, Tila. Okay, and and you know, you will be subject to um, Isaiah 13 judgments and Jeremiah 51 25 judgments. Okay, um, Yellowstone will erupt. It will wipe out pretty much all, almost all of Western civilization. Okay. Um, Please repent, okay? He cares for you. The bride is, in fact, hidden. She will never come online or in public and claim to be his wife. This is a biblical proven fact, okay? Um, I hope this message blesses each and every one of you, and I hope we fly home soon. Shalom.